What's up, y'all? I'm Mickey. If you're new here, today we're going to be playing What Remains of Edith Finch. Where do I hear a fucking cat? This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. So, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Okay. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year just in time to replace the old ones. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. That looks cool. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Yeah, that's it. But you just won't tell me more. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. <laughs> Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, 
and that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he died before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, he, he swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Some Calvin! Dinner's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. The day he made up his mind to fly, and he did. Did he just let go? I feel so bad Calvin's for him. story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Of course he wanted to, um... Uh, swing really high. We have endless fucking secrets in their house, and I love it. Excuse me, open it. I was about to say, open the door. Open the fucking book. This is how I want my house to be. Passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Hands and bellies. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Barbara was a child star for two years until America grew out of it. Wait, so how do I get in her room? Can I go back in here? Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. That's cool, she was in movies. I never thought about how hard it must have been for yeah. her afterwards. Oh. 
Of all the stories Barbara's people wrote stories. about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Guess I'm Barbara Finch. Oh, Jeff here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. I like you. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <whistles> now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. Excuse but me? in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. <laughs> Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. I love Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, You're right. I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. She reached for the music box. Oh my gosh. I'm doing it. She listened for Rick. I'm so cool. Was silent. Uh -uh. It's definitely more creepy when you don't have the uh, Michael Myers fucking theme song. Fuck somebody up. Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. So the hookman go kill her. Don't fucking jump scare me, bitch. It rattled and grew still. Oh dear! Oh dear. That's, that's what the fuck you get for trying to scare her. Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? 
and she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Still on. Orca's Island police describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was this quite smashing. <laughs> Where am I? That night, she played her part beautifully. Whose room am I in? Molly's room? Isn't there another way out? She thought about abandoning Walter. But just couldn't do it. Where the fuck is Walter? Run down the stairs, bitch. Why is she not running? I am not playing. The book man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... I am not playing with y'all. The door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Bitch, open the door. <gasps> oh dear. Surprise! Oh dear. Bravo, you were wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. This is my kind of party. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. 
as for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all okay, they ever found. found of her. Her fear. If he came with now, me. That's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> not his laugh though like not him laughing like that and then there's an ear on the back but anyways why didn't he just come the fuck with me he told me all barbara wanted was to be remembered as absurd as that comic was maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending I'm on Barb Street. Is that it for her room? I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Which walk? Mom must have locked their oh. first dance on the night we left. It's funny. Home. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Like, just the fuck now? Like, from the last shit? I fucking... I did it twice. like that the little saving shit okay so i'm gonna end this there thank you so much for watching if you like the video leave a like down below and yeah i love this i really 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 love this game so far i can't wait can't wait to see how it ends Hope everyone has a wonderful day or evening, night, whatever.